Hey, how's it going guys? I hope you have an amazing day and having a great week. Today I am at Brand Hash. There is a track session happening right now where the drivers come to practice and why not? We use this opportunity to practice and improve our motorsport photography techniques as well. So saying that, I want to share with you some techniques and some camera settings you need to use to improve and get more professional photography when you come to the race track. In motorsport photography, there are two techniques we normally use. There is panning and still shot. But before continuing, we need to know which camera camera settings and which camera mode we are going to use. The first we need to have a look is the camera modes. In camera modes we can use TV mode or we can use manual if you have more experience with the settings and using the camera. To be honest this is more for personal preference than other things. For me personally I would prefer to do manual. For this case we are going to use TV mode. In TV mode we are going to control the shutter speed of the camera and the camera is going to set the aperture automatically. We don't care how is the aperture because it's going to compensate the exposure. We care about the shutter speed because we want to have this motion, we want to have that car frozen in some places. The ISO we can set it automatically as well. It will depend of your preference and it will depend as well of the weather condition. For example today it's sunny and it's cloudy and in that case the sun comes out, the suns go away. If you set ISO automatically and the aperture is automatically as well, you just care about the shooter and your focus is on following the cars and taking great photos because in a race circuit something happens in just in a second and you don't know when. So you have to be prepared and don't be distracted doing the settings or changing the settings in the camera. Once we set the camera mode and we know which camera mode we are going to use, the next thing we are going to have a look is the autofocus on the camera. If your camera has vehicle tracking, choose vehicle tracking. This is going to enhance the tracking of any object in front of the camera. It's not going to confuse a subject or it's not going to confuse a car. But if you don't have vehicle tracking, don't worry, you can still use in your camera, you can still do in the job because the most important thing is the focus operation because sometimes we have set one shot or we have servo mode. In this case, we are going to use servo because the car is constantly in movement. So we need to follow the cars and the focus is going to change all the time. If we set one shot, it's going to focus in one point and then when the cars come forward to the camera or further or any other movement, we are going to miss the focus and then the shot is going to be out of focus and it's going to be blur as well. Now that we know how to set the camera, which setting we are going to use, it's time to give it a try. I am in next to the straight and we are going to do some panning. For panning shots, we are going to set the shutter speed between 160 of the seconds and 160 of the seconds. So let's have a look and see what we can get. your abilities and the speed of the cars, you are going to set the shooter speed. That's why we are choosing between 160 of the seconds and 160 of the seconds. You can go lower and you can go a little bit higher depending on how fast you are moving the camera and doing the panning and following the car and how fast the car is because sometimes there are some locations in the racetrack that the car is going faster than the other ones. So in that case, you need to move the shooter speed and adjust it depending on the situation. The aperture is not going to work for the blur because sometimes we set the aperture just to get that blur background. But in this case, we are going to use a low shooter speed and we are going to pan in, follow the car. That motion is going to give the blur in the background as well as in the foreground. We are going to set the right foot in front and the left one in the back. In this case, we are going to pan in from there to this position here and we are going to use our hips to do the movement. We are not going to pan in with the hands because in that case it's going to move the camera up and down and it's not going to look really well. to use the panning technique and which settings we are going to use to do it. So the next one we are going to have a look is a still shot. For this one we are going to set the shutter speed a little bit higher between 320 of the seconds and 600 of the seconds. Behind me there is a bend where cars are coming. Remember when we set the shutter speed higher we froze the car 
but as well sometimes we frozen the wheels. So we don't want to frozen the wheels because we want to keep the wheels on motion a little bit blur so it looks like the car is in movement and is going on in motion. If we set the shooter speed too high, it's going to freeze everything and then it's going to look like the car is parked or is not in movement. But sometimes you want to achieve this depending on the situation and depending on what you want to do it. Sometimes when it's close to the ground, the stones and everything, you can frost those movements and it's going to look amazing. But just play around and keep in mind that we want to keep the motion on the wheels. you know which techniques and which settings you are going to set your camera for motorsport photography the next time you come to the race circuit. So let me know in the comments below if you have done some motorsport photography in the past, if you are doing it right now or if it's something you would like to do in the future. That's it for today guys, if you like this video consider to hit the like button, subscribe if you are not so you don't miss the oncoming videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!